Hey guys, PK Squash Hotness here, and after a little bit of a Wii U run, I am finally back to you guys with more The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now, don't think just because I was playing the Wii U that, I'm, that I forgot all about this game, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so, if you guys remember last time, we came to Hyrule Field, and remember how I said that there was items here that I wanted to get? Well, they are here, it's just that I forgot all of where they were, so I had to look out for them, but I did find out where they were. Yay, yeah, Blue Rupee! So I did find out where they were, and I'm going to show you guys where it right is right now. As you guys saw, I went straight down from the woods and came over here. You're going to see all these trees and whatnot, and you want to go up, up here near the rock. And if you guys see, there is something in the tree. What is this sitting here in the tree? And with that, we have gotten our fourth piece of heart. With one more, we'll get another full heart container. Yay! Alright, so now we're going to run down here because it's the first quickest way. And we are going to find this little, little trinket. Little, little trinket. Wow. Pick it up. And it is a male beetle. Bug fans love that golden color. Check check out court bugs on the collection screen. So I'm going to show you guys the collection screen. Um, golden bugs right here. As you can see, there are 24 of them. And as you probably guessed by seeing that there's a box next to one, and you saw one that says male, there's also a female counterpart. We're going to want to find all 24 because they actually do have something special for us. Uh, it wants to be collect all 24. It's actually really helpful. And it really goes along with another secret item that, gonna, that we're going to be getting later on in the game. Remember how I was telling you guys how you want to collect as many rupees as you can? Well, the Golden Bugs kind of goes along with that. So I want to ask you guys one favor, just in case I forget. Remind me when I get the grappling hook to come over here. Because as you see, there's a, there's a treasure chest right there. But I usually forget that that treasure chest even exists. So once I get the grappling hook, remind me to come here just in case. I, I, I may forget, and I'll, I'm going to feel stupid if I do. Right now, we're, I'm going to show you guys where to find the female beetle at. It's right over here. See, like, I'm trying to think. Go into the path and... Oh, crap. Oh my god. Alright, I gotta have a little battle scene real quick, obviously. You bastard. Alright, come on puppies. You want some? Ugh! What the? Crap. Ow, I'm scared. Die! Oh, I'm so good! I am so good! And we got set a yellow rupee. That's sweet. I'm gonna grab that heart though because we did lose a piece of a heart. Look at all these baka albums and everything. I'm actually gonna destroy it. That way you won't sneak up on me surprisingly. What you, what you got? What you got? Oh, you, oh, okay, I did finish him. Yay, two swings. All right, so anyway, now that we're back here, um, I'm going to show you guys. You take the gill boomerang, and you see the little golden bug right there. Now, come here, beetle. Where, where'd you go? Oh, there you go. Oh, crap, the bird. Bird, no. Son of a bitch. Skid. Son of a biscuit. You must die. And now you're dead. Now, where'd you go? You guys hear that little twinkling sound? If you ever hear that, that's a good indicator that there is a golden bug nearby, so you want to look out for it. Now, finding the golden bugs is uh, actually a lot easier during nighttime, which is why I'm glad we're in nighttime right now, because you guys can see the sparkling glow that they give. Um, you can find them during the daytime, but, you know, like I said, because it's light outside, they're really hard to see unless you're really close to it. When it's nighttime, you can actually see them from far away. So, if you ever want to go bug hunting, the time to do it is at nighttime. However, Mr. Link, wait! <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Link. I have come to deliver a letter. <laughs> it is a letter from Aku. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail! You know, he just gets all the ladies. Look at him. He is so dedicated to his work. You know, he got all the money. And the ladies love the monies. Ladies love the monies. Uh, you died, my bot goblin. All right, so anyway, we are going to run up here. Now, if you guys remember last time, we were supposed to be going to Kakariko Village. However, it is shrouded in twilight sadness. So we're just going to run up here as soon as we can. Hurry up. Get up there. Hurry. Going too slow. Hey, it was much closer than I thought. You remember, right? You know what this is? If you set foot in here, you might be a wolf again for quite some time. For at least as long as it takes for you to save the light of Elden from that from the twilight anywhere. So, shall we try to go see the light spirit of Elden? <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god, the darkness! 
Oh yeah, as you guys don't know, I'm actually playing this on the Wii U, so the graphics is kind of upscaled to 720p. I can't quite render, or actually no, I can't render 720p, so if you guys get the chance, I would say, you know, load it in 720p. Tell me how you like the difference from episodes 1 through 10. Yeah, it should look a lot better. Anyway, take me into the twilight, Midna. Take me away. Take me far away from here and turn me into a wolf. I can fight a vampire over a submissive girl. Oh, I, I said that so bad. Over a submissive girl who'll do what I say and have my wolf babies. You guys probably don't know that song anyway. Anyway, that's a good boy. Now you need to listen to what I say from now on. Oh, look, how lovely. The black clouds of twilight are so fetching today. I feel so much more at ease here. And you look so much better like this in those dust than in those dusty old clothes anyway. <laughs> so, let's get going. Now, this part is actually a favorite of mine because it's basically just a lot of running, minus the shadow beast that's going to pop up in a few seconds. Oh, well, that's not it. This is something else. That's, um, if you guys remember that, you know, remember this toy? Well, gonna... Oh, okay, I guess I gotta sniff it. If you guys remember, that is Talo, Milo, Beth, the ginger creepy kid, and Colin. And we have just learned the use sense. See, isn't being a wolf more convenient? Now, use control pad to hone your senses. You've begun to reawaken as a wolf, I think. <laughs> oh, right. I actually like Wolf Link. And later on, we're going to be able to transform between Wolf Link and Link. That's at our um, desire. Which is actually going to be a lot useful to get, um, you know, to complete this game. There's a lot of things that you can't complete, but you can't do it. Oh, wait. There's a rock over here. I should probably remember this and blow this up when I um, get bombs and am able to come over here. So hopefully I'll remember that. Oh look, it is Shadow Beast. Let's go after the one by itself. Or I'll just go after all three. Don't attack me. Ha 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 ha. Suck it, son. You ain't got nothing on this. What's this? That's strange. The bridge is gone. I wonder if this is the work of those shadow creatures. Ugh, what a pain. Oh well, let's look for it. You, get your map out. The yellow arrow marks where we are. You knew that, right? Whenever you destroy these creatures from the darkness, a portal opens that looks like this on the map. That thing, right there. And all four of these things are on the map. These are portals that we can use to travel over Hyrule as we unlock them. Basically, each time we d destroy the Shadow Beast, it's like a point of warping. It's pretty decent and actually helps us travel through this land rather quickly. Otherwise, it would take a while. <laughs> That's something we wish he had in our Ocarina of Time. But anyway, you hear me? It's called a portal. You better remember that. Shut the fuck up, Mitna. And in those woods we came through? Yes, it's gotta be around here. I use my power to take you to the location of the open portal. Pick where you want to go. Do you guys remember where I said you wanted to go? Where's the bridge at? In North Farron Woods? Okay. Or oh, however um, Dora said that. I haven't seen Dora since I was like, what? A kid? God, it's like over two years. Man, what's going on with Dora anyway? Doesn't she have like a cousin or something? I don't know. Cartoon shows nowadays suck anywhere. See, I told you, we're here. You know, most people can't leave the twilight that easily. You'd better be grateful. It's your job to look for the bridge. Look hard. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh my god, it's a bridge. Wow, it's perfect, don't you think? What do you think? Should we take it? Yes, yes. Why shouldn't we? Good little obedient wolf. Oh my god, I wish that I could get someone to um, narrate her voice. I know the perfect person. I know you guys know too. We all know who will be perfect to do Mitna's voice. She's such a troll and I love it. <laughs> anyway, let's go on and get back to um, Elden Province and go take this bridge back. 
That is how powerful Midna is. And look, she's like not even using her full power. She actually has a lot of power. That's going to be a lot as we keep going through this game. You guys will find out what it is in time. See, just as I thought. <laughs> so, isn't the power of Twilight amazing? Call me if you need the power again. It should help you find what we're looking for, don't you think? Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, that didn't sound like men at all. That was, that was way too enthusiastic. Anyway, there's a lot to do in this little area. However, we can't do any of it right now. So, I'm just going to, you know, attack these guys, get them out of my way, and keep on going. Because, you know, as Wolf Link, we're actually kind of limited. Although, there is a few... I don't know if there's, like, holes or anything around here that we can actually find. Let's see if I can find something real quick. Give me one second. It's going to run around real quick. Run around. Oh, wait. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the ground. Wait, oh, yeah, Just a rupee. Yeah, just a rupee. I figured as much. We have 300 rupees, so we might as well not even grab anymore. I got to... Wait, what was that? Off in the distance. What is that? You guys see how you can see lights as, um, as a wolf? That's why I prefer... The wolf senses. There's something over there in the corner, too. I think there might be a bug, actually. Let's go check that out. If it is a bug, then I know where we're coming at once we uh, become adult Link or regular Link. Um, oh, no. Actually, yeah, we're about to fall off there. Yeah, that's, that's actually another item we can come, we can get as mid on. So, we gotta wait, like, way later in the game to get that item. Uh, what else is there to have? This is why I love wolf senses. It's actually uh, really useful. For distance, anyway, because it turns everything dark, but for some reason, you can see everything in the distance. Well, actually, not for some reason. Um, it's because, you know, it's, everything is pitch black. I'm gonna come over here, because I think there might be a bug over here. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. Although, I don't think we can even get bugs as Wolf Link, but it's interesting to just, you know, scout out. I don't see anything. And yeah, we'll come over here later. Ow! Ah! 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 Okay, alright, let's see. I don't know, I'm just being weird right now, wasting time. I don't know why I'm doing that. Huh. What are they doing there? This is a pretty elaborate gate. What are they trying to keep in? Or out? I bet it'll be worth our while to dig in. All right, so let's get to digging. I can dig it. I can dig it. Look at that wolf link. All right, so they see us. We don't actually have to fight them. Screw it. Honestly, fighting out enemies isn't even needed unless there's like a, a swarm of them and you have to take them out. Otherwise, you can most likely just run past them whether you're wolf link or regular link. This is Kakariko Village in the Twilight Realm. And I went backwards. What the heck? I don't know what that was all about. But anyway, as you see, there are shadow bees here. So what I'm going to do is take out this one just by itself. And then we're going to take out the two that are working together. All right. Bam! My nose is itching. That means I got money coming. Yeah. All right. Oh my God, my hands are so sweaty. I hate the flu. What the heck is with sweaty palms? I don't get it. Don't like it. It's not attractive and girls won't want to hug me. <laughs> what else talking about? Girls want to hug me anyway. To the hero who has transformed into a blue-eyed beast in the realm of shadows in twilight. This way. Oh, we are now being beckoned by another spiritual beast. Let's find out what this one wants. There's only one thing it could want, actually. And it's for us to save its life. I am a spirit of light, hero, chosen by the gods. Look for my light. Gather the light stolen by the shadows into this. Mm -hmm. 
And we got another Vessel of Light. We're going to use it to collect the Tears of Light of the Spirit Elden. And then, oh, yeah, Elden. And, um, you know, free this land of the Twilight Curse that it has been placed under. Yeah, 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 we already know. Yeah, 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 we already know. The insects of darkness. They are the form taken by the evil that attached itself to my scattered light. In this shadowy twilight, the shadow insects are invisible, much as the people from your light world are. With the last of my power, let me mark your map with the locations of the tears that have turned into shadow insects. But be careful, the darkness now hunts you. Oh, that's not creepy. No, I didn't want to talk to you. I didn't want to talk to you. Shut up. All right. So we found out what we have to do. There's actually one more thing we have to do, but we're going to find out what, well, what's in here next time. It's actually something really important. So uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like if you enjoyed the video. It really does help a lot. Tell me about your comp. Leave a comment about what you think of the um, LP so far. What's your favorite part about Zelda in this episode? And on the next time. We are going to begin collecting the Tears of Light and the Shadow Insects to restore the light back to Kakariko Village and Elden itself. So until next time, guys, this is PK Sparks, The Hotness, signing out.